da 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 Hello, we are going to go to Dollar General and get a few things. I've got a little list I've got to get and uh, just thought I'd bring you guys along and I'll show you the Christmas stuff they've got. It is now um, Saturday, September 28th. It's actually my oldest little brother's birthday. So happy birthday, bro. He don't watch my videos, he ain't gonna care. But um, it finally stopped raining after like 48 hours straight, it was insane. But my heart is just completely shattered for all those people in North Carolina and Tennessee and Georgia. Like it's awful. Anyway, we're gonna go to the store and um, see what they got. Yes, I know, we desperately need to get this car cleaned out. All right, well, I'm so glad that you guys are here today. And I wanna know, have y'all gone to Dollar General yet and seen all of their Christmas stuff out? Because I just love coming here and looking at all of it. My husband did not know I ran off from him. So in a minute, he's hollering, Jess, Jess, through the store, cause he can't find me. But you can always find me where the Christmas is. And first up are these dollar ornaments. These make great stocking stuffers, as well as things to put in your kids' Christmas boxes if you do that. Um, I really like these little pretzels. I don't know why, but those are just so stinking cute. And then they have uh, these little woodland animals. I wanna get a tree from my kitchen and put woodland animals on it. Like, I'm just obsessed with the animals this year. I don't know. That that wolf kind of looks wonky, but the first one was cute. Anyway, which of these ornaments would you like? I know my youngest son would love that donut. Winter Blessings on the truck is adorable as well. But, I mean, for a dollar, you can't beat it. We do like to go to Hobby Lobby and let the kids pick out an ornament each year, but with budget being so tight, we might be doing a Dollar General ornament pick out this year because, I mean, they're just as cute, right? I'm also obsessed with gingerbread, so these little yardsticks were cute, and I told Justin I really want to come back and get this four-foot decorative inflatable to set on our porch, and he said, absolutely not. So, y'all, put it in the comments to let me get that inflatable, because I love it. I don't even have to put it on the porch. I'll put it in my bedroom. I don't care. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'd want it outside, but I want it, because it's, it's a gingerbread man, and it's so cute. Uh, and then there's those $5 trees I was talking about, and they've even got some six foot trees for only $35, which that's a really good deal. So if you're in the market for a new tree and you don't wanna pay a lot at the bigger box stores, check out Dollar General. They always have the cutest kitchen stuff. Like I'm gonna definitely grab a couple pot holders next time. Obsessed with that Merry Christmas pillow. I think I showed you that in the last video. And they always have really cute doormats as well. I didn't go through all of those, but I just showed you the top cute one and then as always they've got the embroidered bath sets that one's gnomes and dish towels y'all know i love some dish towels and i snagged that gingerbread cookie one last time and then i needed to grab some lip gloss i really want to find a color that looks good on me but i don't like lipstick from dollar general it just doesn't do well with me but this lip gloss looked interesting but i grabbed uh this little sheer lip gloss color to try and it was only 75 cents so if I don't like it, then I can always just give it to my niece because that girl is a makeup fanatic and she just loves, loves lip gloss. These are really pretty. They're the disposable plates. They still got a lot of fall stuff here too. I really like these little window cleans. And here's the tablecloth that I thought was a thick one, but I'm thinking I'm gonna get this one. Or there's, let me go over here. This one, this one, or pumpkins. I kind of like the pumpkin one too. So I'm torn between the pumpkins or this one. I think this one, I like the truck. I really like the truck. So I'm gonna see if I can get this one. And here's some more. Well, I bet this smells really good. Cranberry crumble cake. Oh, and they have it in a wax melt. Please. 
Buy one, get one free. I don't know what that is. It's weak. Cranberry crumble cake. That's because it's in plastic. I always really enjoy this aisle as well, but I randomly ever get anything from it, but I just love coming to look at all the different home decor pieces and the different shelving options. Um, that first thing was a little trivet set I thought was adorable. And then I just love baskets, but y'all, I am not paying $14 for this when I can get it for five at Goodwill. And my son just came down the stairs roaring like a daggum T-Rex, and I'm not gonna edit that out. Sorry, boy. Mm-hmm. This would make a great stocking stuff for the little scrubbies. And this is my bill organizer that I love and talk about all the time. Well, I got a little bit of good stuff in there. And that one will stop talking. So, Joseph and I be bringing him to the car while he checked out. And I think I left my drink in there somewhere. I set it down so that I could film. And now I can't find it. So, I'm pretty sure I left it in the store. I feel terrible. It was almost empty. They're going to think I left it there as trash. I really don't leave trash in the stores i'm so sorry dollar general you can tell i did not do any makeup or anything today um because when justin's like hey let's go to the dollar store i'm like okay let's go you're not gonna get an argument from me but i'll show you guys everything that i got when we get home okay so from dollar general i just got a few little things we got some more laundry soap i wanted to get like fairy lights to put in front of my tv and the leaves but those are five dollars so i just got four tea light candles for two dollars I grabbed the absolute cheapest mascara with a good brush that I could find. This was like $2.50. So I'll try it out and let you guys know how it turns out. Grab some of this Glossy Lips lip gloss. Uh, some clearance nail polish. It was like $0.50. Cents. It, I thought it looked, it's kind of similar to this color, but it's more brown like a coffee, which is what I've been looking for. So the brand is Believe. I'll show you guys that when I do my nails. My husband wanted to grab this to make some sugar cookies. I mean, sugar cookie mix. And then we grabbed another tablecloth because this one is wintry and we still would like to embrace the autumn season. So this is that thicker tablecloth that I mentioned I wanted to get. So that's the little DG haul. Oh, we did get one more thing. My oldest son's wanting to decorate for Christmas. So this is his incentive to bring his math grade up. We got him a little tree to put in his room. Um, and so over fall break, if he gets his grade up, he gets to put his Christmas tree up. I love the way this turned out and I did um, end up putting a candle in that house but I didn't film it. Now I'm gonna make some white chicken chili. I've seen so many people make it and I've never made it so we're gonna see if I can do it. Um, and I don't know what to do with the recipe so I'm just gonna try to remember everything and I'll let you know how it turns out. Plug it in my crock pot right now. And I got these to serve with it. My tripod's broken, so I've just got you popped up on a can of mixed vegetables right now, and my head is chopped off. But uh, then you can use frozen chicken, so I'm gonna use two of these breasts. You know, I should probably get all the ingredients and then do this. Open it up, but I can't do it. I'm just gonna throw. This is kind of rinky dink. I'm gonna just line the crock pot with chicken breast. How about that? You can never have too much chicken, right? 
What? You can never have too much chicken, right? In what? In the crock pot. <clears throat> like this. And then I'm supposed to do a can of black beans. I'm not going to drain them. Is that a mistake? I guess we'll find out. And we got a can of Rotel. Just got this diced tomatoes and green chilies. Then they said um, onion powder. I think they said you can add garlic powder too, but I don't have any of that. I know, what a crime. Oh, and I forgot corn. No, go on. Well, let's just do the onion powder. What? <gasps> oh, I got the hiccups. Ah, joy! I got the joy because I'm ready for a nap. Okay. Why do I fail at opening cans? It's always one little piece that hangs on. Alright. Corn. I got the corn in there. Then a packet of ranch seasoning. Oh look, I tore that open really easily, so. Awesome. So we're just gonna put that in there. Ranch makes everything better. And then a pack of cream cheese. It smells really good. And we're gonna put the lid on it. Hi. Four to six hours. I really had a lot of trouble trying to figure out what I wanted to talk about um, from my devotion today. And instead of sharing my devotion, um, I feel it really heavy on my heart to share 1 John 4. So I'm just going to read it to you and give you my thoughts on it. So it says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God, and every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God, and this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God does not hear us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another, for the love is of God, and every one that loves is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world that we might live through him. Herein is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. 
what I got from this reading was that the Antichrist spirit has been in the world ever since, you know, back when first John was written, you know. Um, so we really need to be careful of who we're listening to preach and make sure that they're actually of God and not a false prophet, like a wolf in sheep's clothing. And I feel like nowadays it's so easy to be deceived. You have to discern between right and almost right, not even just good and evil. I was very excited to make it for y'all. Yeah, you should make this more often. Did you take this to work if we had leftovers? When what I, make it again? I don't think I'd eat it at lunch. I'd probably eat it at break. I'm like, okay, what to eat this? <laughs> what you put in there? I finished. This is the boys doing their little pumpkin prayers that I've talked about. I got these little pumpkins at Dollar General for a dollar piece, and they write down either something they're grateful for on a piece of paper, or they write down a prayer request. So at the end of October, we're going to dump them out and see if God's answered their prayers and just see what they're grateful for. I thought it would be a really fun activity to grow their faith. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Be grateful, give grace, and God bless.